Alright. What's up everybody? It's Mark here. Uh, this Sunday, September 3rd. Tomorrow will be Labor Day. So this is my Sunday video. Uh, updating from the, the midweek that I actually did for the first time. So this would be, I guess, week 32, I believe it is. Um, so I did actually hit my 400th ride. I uh, did that on... I did that actually Saturday morning, yesterday morning. And then I rode an additional two rides. So I'm sitting at 402 rides right now. Uh, of course, my 400th ride. Um, I did that with Hannah because I guess Matt was out doing, Matt Wilpers was doing a, a triathlon. Uh, so he wasn't uh, available because that was what I was going to do. But I went ahead and knocked it out first ride of the morning. Uh, I did really, really well. I was kind of surprised because uh, about two to three minutes left in the ride, I actually caught up to my PR uh, level, but then I went ahead and backed off because I was, I was hurting pretty bad because I think on Friday I did five rides that day. So I was kind of wiped out and uh, I still wanted to push myself. So then I did it yesterday, I did a 20 minute ride, uh, cool down afterward. Actually, did I do that? Yeah. And then they had the hurricane relief uh, ride with Dennis that it was, it was an hour long ride and I really wasn't planning on it. I was actually doing some work uh, at home, but I was like, hey, let me go ahead and just ride for five miles, you know, because Peloton was donating for the hurricane. And I went ahead and rode and I was like, ah, let me do 10. Well, I ended up hitting like 19 and a half miles for uh, the whole ride. So I ended up doing an hour ride. So I got three rides in yesterday as well. So uh, all total in the last two days, I did eight rides. Uh, I, today, it's kind of interesting because I was like was talking to my wife. I was like, you know, I haven't, haven't lost any weight. Um, you know, I hadn't seen any really weight loss or anything from this. And uh, kind of crazy. She goes, I bet if you took three days off, you'd lose weight because your body's probably so inflamed from uh, working out as much as you have that... It would probably, it's probably retaining a lot of liquid. So uh, I actually have not ridden today. I'm probably gonna do a 20 minute ride right now. We just got done with uh, everything that we needed to do. I just got through cooking up dinner and uh, my wife was out power washing and I did the, the yard and everything. So I'm gonna do a real, real easy 20 minute ride. Uh, get a little bit of sweat going, grab my shower and hit the sack and uh, probably ride couple times tomorrow and everything, but my legs definitely are uh, shot and everything. So it's, uh, uh, I don't know, it's, it's going to be weird because when I made my posting about my 400th ride, I was wondering if I could get 350 more rides. You know, have 750 by, I said January 14th, but I believe, I'll have to go back and look at this exactly, but I believe it was like January 19th or 21st when I'm, after my surgery, I could actually get on the bike and ride and I started this whole you know, one year thing. So I'll have to look exactly what I said uh, and, and see if I could get 750 rides. I don't, the one thing I worry about if I try to push myself to get that number of rides is whether I'll just end up hating this thing uh, uh, more than everything. So I don't, I don't want to do that because I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying just hitting it and everything and I don't want to get burned out on it. So that'll be a little bit of a worry concern. So yeah, we'll have to see. But in terms of my goals and everything, I've got to look at the chart, but I'm pretty sure that I'm, I'm definitely in the last two weeks took a huge upturn because uh, I think it was like 300 and I don't know 375 rides two weeks ago. So I got I have to look at it, but it was, it was I, I did a lot of rides in the last two weeks to catch up, and I was looking at my schedule. We got two. We got a, let's see. I guess I got Christmas or fall break. That will be gone and then we got third thanksgiving break and then there'll be some christmas stuff in there so really i got two weeks of where i won't have access to the bike so i'll have to figure something um see if that can even be done you know look at the number of days and everything but one of the things i am uh, happy about that i'm looking at is i should be coming up on within a goal i probably still haven't got it where i have a ratio of 1.0 in terms of rides per day because uh, I got this in late May of last year, which, you know, would put me at, I don't know, whatever, 365 plus from now back up to like May 26th, I believe is when I got this. So that's kind of just like a little goal of mine as well, because I want to 
have at least one, you know, one ride a day. So uh, that'll be something I'll, I'll have to keep track of and let you know about. But anyway, uh, this week, you know, since it's Labor Day, I will be able to, I'll probably try to get three or four rides in tomorrow, uh, start building that up and uh, see. I'm going to go go back and also look at how long it took me to get each 100 rides in and try to keep that as a uh, kind of the back of the back of the napkin and goal and figuring out what that average is and see if I can improve upon that. So anyway, hope you guys have a great week and uh, see you on the bike.